Jared Poland, photo.com and this is your boom ah! photo news fix. This fix is brought to you by Squarespace. Now, if you didn't know, I've been using Squarespace for jaredpoland.com for 10 years now because it's super simple, easy to set up, super reliable, super, super, and you still don't need to know any coding. I don't know coding and my site looks good. Mm, so good. Now is a great time to build your very own online portfolio so people can see your work on your space. I mean, actually, your Squarespace. Head on over to squarespace.com slash photo to get your 14 day free trial. If you decide that it's for you, use the code photo at checkout to get 10% off your first order. First up, if you didn't hear yet, someone announced a new fancy mirrorless camera and it's not Pentax. Is it Sony? No. Fuji, yep. Fuji announced a GFX 100S, their 102 megapixel, five axis image stabilizing medium format camera though I say that in air quotes for a specific reason, that is $6,000. That's a steal. The GFX 100S weighs in at just 1.9 pounds, which is 1.1 pounds less than the larger GFX 100. Now I've personally never used one of these Fujis, but I would love to give it a shot for my style of shooting. A bigger sensor to me means better depth of field, potentially better high ISO capability, and hopefully some great images. But my biggest concern these days is auto focus. The GFX 100S uses on-sensor phase detection pixels that cover almost 100% of the sensor and is supposedly super fast and able to acquire focus in as little as 0.16 seconds, which I have no way of quantifying or comparing to anything else. But it is powered by the Fuji X Processor 4, which has to be really good since it's the fourth one, uh, uh, as well as having updated focus tracking algorithms, uh, algorithms, focus tracking algorithms to help with face and IAF, but not help with reading comprehension, or speaking for that matter. On top of everything else, Fuji squeezed in a newly designed IBIS system with up to six stops of vibration reduction. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to mention, they've included 19 exclusive Fujifilm simulation modes. Yay, AKA what we call presets these days. You know, for all those old timers who wanna relive their glory hole days of getting that nostalgic look. Did he just say? At the end of the day, this really does sound like a fantastic system. And if the Fuji PR person would give me a call, I'd be more than happy to give it a shot. Next up in more Nikon's in trouble news. It's unauthorized clickbait. Nikon has suspended orders in the UK due to Brexit. On their UK website, there's a banner at the top that says, due to Brexit changes, we are temporarily pausing shipping to the UK. They also said, if you have already placed an order with us, sorry, oh, that was, that was, that was Nikon Canada. We are working hard to ensure your order arrives as soon as possible. Now it turns out this may only be an issue if you're ordering directly from Nikon UK's website site because in an attempt to clear up some confusion amateur photographer that's spelled a m a t e u ah! photographer shared this quote from Nikon UK. Nikon has commenced shipments to our trade slash retail partners with a regular shipment schedule in place. Naturally, we may incur potential delays at the border as the new process takes force. However, we remain committed to minimizing delays with our own processes. Now that's funny because I reached out to Madeline Kay with Nikon PR in the UK and I couldn't understand a word she was saying. She's from the other studio. But I did hear that she has a great smile. In all honesty, I think this is just a temporary thing that Nikon and every other manufacturer needs to figure out moving forward. Guess what we didn't do last week? We didn't hit 10,000 likes, which made me sad. Really bummed you out. But I did give away five Fro Pack bundles to people who left comments on the video, which is kind of cool. So if we hit 10,000 this week, I'll do the same for random commenters on this video. Why am I so excited? Feel these nipples. I, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll tone it down. Not. And finally, in the biggest photo news of the week, Sony announced a $2,500 phone. Or should I say? Advanced uh, communication device. I bet you didn't see that one coming, now did you? It could be a, a teaching machine of some kind. Now bear with me on this one because it does make sense for a very small portion, and I mean 
very small portion of the market. The Xperia 5G is packing a 6.5 inch 4K OLED screen with HDMI input, which means it can act as an external display for your camera. Like its name says, it has 5G and takes advantage of all of the different 5G bands. It also has USB-C, which will allow you to connect to your camera and instantly transfer photos and videos via FTP with blazing 5G ultra wideband, uh, if you can actually find one of those ultra wideband towers. Did I mention that you can live stream video from a camera like the A7R4? In fact, this is already being done in the NFL. And no, it's not 8K like so many people have been saying. With more and more stadiums adding 5G in their rafters, wire photographers will be able to instantly and automatically transfer files, that's RAW files or JPEG files, back to their editors wirelessly. But like I said, it comes at a price. But when speed is the name of the game and getting your photos out into the world is the most important thing to do, then that price may be very well worth it. I guess I should also mention that Sony announced a little camera called the Alpha One, a 50 megapixel, 30 frame per second, still shooting 8K video capable mirrorless camera that will set you back $6,500. Also, there's no tigers in Africa. <laughs> Thank you for the correction. If you know, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't know, now you know. Basically, it's like they took the A7R4, the A92, and even parts of the A7S3 and morphed them into one body called the Alpha One. If you want to know more, I did do an in-depth preview of the specs, which is linked down below. And there you have it. That's your photo news fix. This time around, to check out the last fix, go ahead and click on the screen right here. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And that's that's where I'm going to leave it. Jared Poland Fronos, photo.com. See ya.